guys, Bronya here. Welcome to your love reading for November and December. It has been a little while since we've done one of these. Um, so before we jump into your reading, just to let you know, your end of year reading is also up. So you might want to watch this reading in relation to that to see if it picks up on any themes. Um, keep in mind that the doors to the initiation are always open. That is my immersive learn tarot journey and always the first link down below. Uh, and when you click that link, it takes you to a page that um, tells you all the ins and outs and everything you need to know about it and if you do choose to sign up you get immediate access to all the online modules videos practices to begin um, reading the cards intuitively uh, today pretty much so guys also uh, if you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself I do have spaces and can deliver them fairly quickly at the moment you'll find that link down below uh, for readings and healings and also for my social media links as well. So without further ado, let's get across to your reading now. Wishing you so much love and magic for love. Uh, let's see what's on the cards for you. Aries, welcome to your love reading for November and December, where we see what may be on the cards for you for the end of the year when it comes to your romantic connections. Aries, I put the cards down and realized I've put them in the block that I normally do for the weekly readings, not in my love card spread. But I'm going to honor that because I am really, really feeling the message here. So we're going to treat it like a a recent past, current or focused energy, near future outcome, love reading, um, which actually makes sense for the kind of reading that, um, that that's coming through. So it's going to jump in, always roll with things when it's like these little happy accidents it's meant to be. So we've got the nine card block to jump into. We've got two journey of love cards, romance angels and a lead tarot energy. So these ones here, the first ones our Aries was dream a little and the light field. When I saw this, I thought manifestation energy. So it's either somebody in a current connection dreaming about how it could be or dreaming beyond the connection, or it is a single Aries who is really ready to manifest love. I am feeling more of a singles reading here, guys. I must say nine of pentacles in the middle of the reading. I think you're ready, Aries. I think you're looking good. I think you're feeling good and you are ready to call in love. So dream a little, get manifesting, make your wishes on the star because the light field, right? The 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 field is ready to bring you your match should you be vibrating at the frequency of them. So it's time for you to be the kind of person, Aries, that you want to attract, okay? That is the magician's energy. Raise your vibration from within, feel good, maybe make yourself look good, glow up, because that all impacts how you feel about yourself and the energy you're projecting out in the world. And the people that come into your life, like this applies whether it's love or professional, they will be a match for you, okay? So if you want to attract a more high caliber person emotionally or something like that, do the work on yourself first so that you're ready to meet them at that level. So get manifesting because the light field is ready. Uh, in the Romance Angels, I've got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, okay? Just what we've been saying. Don't give up, don't go into that lack energy or the, the scarcity because that's just going to, to block it off. I've got flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. So, you know, as long as it's harmless um, and, and it's reciprocated and that kind of thing, flirting is a very good way to um, to really practice and to 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 run that romantic energy if you know what I mean it kind of lets the the universe know hey I'm up for it and you can kind of like practice putting that out there and see what is reciprocated so I love that for you I've got heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so if you do have someone a person of interest it may be time for you to express that Lead Tarot energy is justice, and this is Libra energy, and um, what came through as soon as I saw this card is like, you are ready for your equal opposite, two holes coming together kind of person. 
um, I'm seeing the scales there and I'm and I'm seeing them in balance and you are wanting Aries someone that can meet you completely and fully and evenly no more of like the scales going like this and that so attracting someone that's really out of balance or not balanced for you that is going to be your justice here because I have a feeling that you have been through several is they kiss some frogs and they have not been in balance for you and there's a sense of when is my when is my karma and love coming when is my balance coming um justice is the card you know is of libra being, and that is also linked to truth so this is about you know staying in alignment with your truth and not compromising or bending that for someone so that you're going to attract a partner who is right for you so that's really really important and justice also talks about maybe it's time to to change something within yourself or your circumstances because when we make changes we change the energy which can often attract love now i'm looking at the block here and i'm seeing Two cards that indicate travel, relocation, movement, getting out there, going on holiday. So it could be that you find this person or meet this person when you are on the move, whether it's, you know, another country, another state, or just getting out in your own local area and doing more things. Things that align with your rebel heart, with the full energy. So that's coming through strongly. So let's jump into the block, Aries. We've got Page of Swords, the Star, and the Full. The full does link to your energy for me, and the star is Aquarius. And the page of swords, if we start there, I always say it's that 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 breeze of change, those little winds of change that start picking up that are about to shift the course of your life in some way. So I feel like you're ready for that. I feel like you've been entertaining the idea that maybe it is time uh, to to get yourself out there in love and dating. The star does show to me that you, you may have been healing for a, a period of time from a long-term connection. I see you tipping out the two of cups there. You are pretty much over the emotions and you're ready to put it behind you. It's going back to the earth here, you know, stepping and you're ready to step out in your vulnerability areas and put your heart out there. Keep the faith and keep manifesting. I think that under the currents here you have been actually manifesting beginning to think about a partner again maybe beginning to have some visions of doing like really nice things with a partner spending time together what kind of home would you would have that kind of thing is coming through with the star and the fall you're ready for a fresh new start a new beginning and you're feeling guided in that way it also shows me that you you're ready to put the baggage of the past behind you and move in alignment with your rebel heart here and following your instincts. It's also this energy that that's saying that when this Ace of Cups coming comes in, because th there is an offer coming, Aries, that you are going to be encouraged to take a leap of faith here and to begin connecting with it and not do your Aries thing of being in, in your head energy, which you know you're ruled by that part of the body of overthinking it, over analyzing it, thinking about you know whether this person is you know, good future material or anything like that, you're actually being encouraged to be in your fire energy and be really spontaneous here and just go for it, make bold moves anyway. So in your current focus energy, we've got the six of swords, nine of pentacles, six of wands. So two numbers of the lovers, like the lovers is number six in the major arcana. It's Gemini energy and Knight of Swords is Gemini, so there could be a Gemini coming towards you. Um, the the six is the number of lovers, and it's the number of harmony and and balance. So finally, they've, we've got this the theme of balance coming in for you, in in terms of a victory. Now, the Nine of Pentacles in the middle of the reading is you and your single glory. Yeah, I know it's Earth sign energy, but I very much see this signifying you at the moment, Aries. You're actually feeling quite confident, looking good, feeling good, um, you are going to be perceived as being successful of having it all together in your life by other other partners. And I think that's going to be something that actually draws people into you. The the six oh, sorry, the the nine of pentacles can be an indication that you you know, it is either the the holiday, the travel connection or 
or, or work may also be somewhere that you may meet someone you might be traveling for work that's something else that's coming through but um yeah the six of swords here for me is, is that you are moving away from all of those emotional times that you've had in the past that you've healed and you're ready to move into that sense of harmony and peace but I'm really feeling the the travel or the move the movement around from your normal location is where you may meet someone where you might be victorious here six of wands in uh in, in, a, in meeting someone. Um, the Six of Wands also talks about being like visible on show, on display, especially next to the Nine of Pentacles. So you might be um, like visible on social media and people might message you that way. They all slip into the DMs. Um, the Six of Wands, you know, it could be that you that you're traveling for an event or something for work where you might be presenting or something like that. And that is where this this happens because it's kind of like you're finally getting out there. You're finally ready to be seen in that energy is what I'm feeling. And that is when the Ace of Cups comes in. So near future energy, we've got Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So the Ace of Cups is an offer, guys. It is an offer of expression, expression of heart, feeling. It could be somebody coming through that is very genuine, that you feel could fill you up on a on a sensual level it is the seedings of a love a very transformative love and I'm feeling Gemini energy I must say there could be somebody here also that wants to move quickly with it with the knight of swords but our last card is the four of pentacles and that shows Aries somebody who is holding on and guarding their heart so I'll get a clarifier for that in a moment but it can be the fear of like, yeah, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, ready, not ready. Yeah, you know what I mean? When it actually comes in, it's like the old heart walls go up really quickly. So it's going to be important for you to, to try and stay open and try and, you know, keep on processing anything from the past because, yeah, otherwise, you know, you won't be available for this kind of, of love. So, yeah, the Four of Pentacles can be no, I want to stay in a comfort zone. I'm not quite ready. I'm just going to, 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 to hold on over here. Let's see what that may mean. I got the seven of wands. Yeah, like there's a sense of you feeling like you need to defend yourself or defend your energy in some way. Um, the Seven of Wands can be a card about alignment as well. So it's just making sure that whoever comes through for you, you know, is in alignment with that truth, what we talked about. And the star again. So, you know, there could even be someone that comes through first who is making the offer. Maybe they're moving too quick. It kind of shuts you down. You feel like you need to defend yourself. There could be then, um, that could be almost like a, a warm-up or a test run, and then the star says, don't give up hope. Keep hoping, dreaming, and wishing that real person is coming through that you are wanting. Keep going. Or this could mean that, you know, you have that kind of knee-jerk reaction there, Aries. Or it's almost like a fending them off kind of energy. So what it, what it means to me is just check in with yourself. You know, make sure that's not a... A trauma response to shutting down when somebody gets too close to heart that's what I'm feeling you know sometimes it's like we, we really want to, to call in a partner but when it gets a little bit serious or emotions and feelings start coming out some people can really get scared right put up the heart walls and 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 back off or, or or run in the other direction maybe you're going to attract somebody who's a fast mover Aries and that is maybe not feeling too good to you but let's come back to the full it's saying you know take a leap of faith here give this person a chance because they could just be the person that you manifested so that's what I'm feeling Aries I'm feeling a longer term single person here is who I'm connecting with, who has been out of the dating game for a while, has been healing from a long-term connection, 
is finally ready to explore and put themselves out there. Really feels ready for it, but when it comes down to it and somebody shares their heart, there's the old snapping it shut. So try and stay open, stay optimistic about your love life and have heart to heart conversations. Like just share, hey, I'm feeling vulnerable. The star is a card of vulnerability. I need a bit more time. I need to move it slower. I just need some time to feel into this is what I'm feeling, Eri. So take it at your pace. It's absolutely okay to express that. Okay, Aries, well, that is your love message. I hope that resonates for the person that it is meant for. Uh, do keep in mind it's a general reading, a specific general reading for the collective, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. It will reach who it is meant to. Um, drop me a comment if you're called to share, Aries. I do read them all and try and uh, connect with you all over there. Hit the subscribe button as well so you'll know when I release more readings and it just really helps um, these readings go, go further as well, which is a really important part of, of running a YouTube channel. The views are important, guys. Um, you can also support the videos by, by liking and sharing them around and, um, yeah, just hanging out and then joining me for a reading when you feel called to. So, Aries, thank you for letting me connect with your energy in this way. I am wishing you much love and magic for love for the end of the year and see you back here for plenty more readings, including the weekly readings every week. Bye for now.